Dooley Dread TV, welcome back. After 20 years, reality kicked in. Newcastle United have been drawn in Group F, and I call it the Group of Death with a question mark. We're in it, it's finally here. Didn't really believe it, like I was a bit nervous and I was thinking, are we really here? But once you see our names in that group and in that hat, and the rally kicks in, and you see that name, the last name in that group, with the Giants, PSG, Borussia Dortmund, and AC Milan, Tanani potentially will be playing back at the San Saro not long after he left AC Milan to come to Newcastle United. For me, it's an exciting group. If you want to be with the best, you've got to play the best. I think about it technically, it might sound a bit silly, but I believe that it, the group kind of, is kind of even. The competitive group, but it's going to be special away days, and these are special names, special teams with status and history. AC Milan, the last time Newcastle went to the San Siro was 20 years ago, when we were last in the Champions League against Inter Milan. That's going to be exciting to see Nani going back on his return. Borussia Dortmund, with those fans, that's going to be a tough away one with that yellow wall that they create by their fans. And then you've got PSG being PSG. Will Kylian Mbappe still be there? I suppose he will. The likes of the Neymars and the Messi's are gone. But they've got some good young, talented ballers there. And PSG are PSG. The Qataris against the Saudis. It's going to be exciting. And you know what? Just have to embrace it. All I hope for is that our players be pumped up for it. At the same time, don't get too pumped up and get disfocused from the league. If you want to carry on being in this prestigious competition, you have to do the business in the league like we did last, last year. So this is a big one. It's new to Eddie, new to the staff, new to most players. It's probably new to a lot of, of our fans. So we go on this journey together. And it's here. I've watched the whole red carpet and all the pianos and the jazz and the, the sing songs. Re watched the whole two hours. That way, the last time I was 21 years ago, roughly around, that I last saw Newcastle United in the Champions League. And I wasn't waiting for 20 years later because I didn't expect to see it again. But we're here. And I would love to hear, are we looking at, are we looking at pods and comments and other social medias to see what us black and white tsunami fans what we think what our opinions are are you nervous are you scared do you, do you prefer to play some of the best because it's more exciting for me it's more exciting because like i said i want to see our teams against the best i want to see how we fare against the best or the so-called best in name terms but it's going to be interesting i'll tell you that it's going to be interesting, it's going to be tough playing like playing the Champions League and then you're back again a few days later playing the league and back and forth and the main thing is can our players can we handle it in terms of game time mentally do you have the depth I suppose that the squad we've got right now I don't see it changing or being added to I doubt it, I think this is it this is the squad going into the full season and into the Champions League and other domestic leagues. Love to hear your thoughts. I am gas. Bit nervous, but I embrace it. Truly dread TV. Appreciate your likes and your constant support. Hit a sub, hit a like. We go again. Peace.